Yeah, yeah, I'm on it right now. Working on it right now. You guys will have it by EOD. Yeah, yeah, you will have it by EOD. <laughs> okay, bye. You know what, guys? They actually will have it by EOD. How am I so sure? Because of this, I've been using the Mac computer for a while now. But very recently, I came across a lot of tips and tricks that make the usage of a Mac OS X so much easier. And guess what? Today in this video, I'm going to share with you some of the best tips and tricks to use your Mac OS X. Let's go. Shift plus click maximize button to fill the screen. Let me tell you something guys, this will blow your mind. Okay, now we all know that the red button on a window is used to close, the yellow one is used to minimize and the green one is used to maximize, right? So you also know that some apps like Chrome, Word and some others don't really fill the entire screen when you click the maximize button. Sure, that's fine most of the time, but sometimes, just sometimes, we actually want the window to fill the screen, hey na? So the next time you want that to happen, you need to do this. Just press down the shift key when you click on the maximize button and voila, big window, no matter which app or page you are on. Launch Spotlight with Command Space Can't find the folder with your resume or the folder with the all important holiday pics? Well, we all know that Spotlight can help us look and find these files quickly. On Spotlight, we can find files, emails, look up words and even launch apps. But do you know that there's a super quick shortcut to straight away get to Spotlight? That's right guys. All you need to do is a quick tap on Command plus Space and then Spotlight will open up on the menu bar for you to start typing. For example, click on Command plus Space. Spotlight will open up, type something like say Safari and then just press enter and Safari will be launched. That simple. Drop files onto the dock to open in an app. When in a hurry, this feature is an absolute savior. I like to keep Preview as my default app for opening images. Preview is pretty fast and easy when I need a quick look at something. Remove icons from the menu bar. Does your menu bar look like a league of million Avengers? Well, let me tell you, a little while back, mine looked like that also. But now, I've sorted that out. Let me tell you how I did it. For some icons on our menu bar, mostly system related ones, just hold down the command key, click the icon and drag it off the menu bar. That simple. I mean, come on guys, we don't really need the volume or the speaker icon on our menu bar, do we now? Take a screenshot. Ever need to take a screenshot of something on your screen quite urgently? Maybe it's an error from a colleague that you don't like. <laughs> Maybe it's just a graphic, but you need it. How to do it? Let me tell you, it's super easy. Command plus shift plus three. That simple. When you click command plus shift plus three, it'll take a picture of the entire screen. And command plus shift plus four will let you select a part of the screen or a window. Just crop the part that you need to take a screenshot of and done. Of course, if you want to step things up, just download Sketch for free and crank up your screenshots a few notches. So next time a colleague asks you how were you able to do it by EOD, remember to flex using these super cool Mac OS tips. Share some tips that you use often as well and which one among these is your favorite. Stay tuned to this space for more such content.